And the president, from everything I can tell, has no clue about what the implications of what he's asking for would bring. And when he says they're going to be the party of health care, he has never come up with a real plan. Ten years after the Affordable Care Act, they don't have a plan. Let's say the court doesn't uh, do what the president and certain uh, Republican AGs want. Already Democrats, at least those campaigning for president, some are saying no to uh, uh, fixing um, the parts of the ACA that aren't working. Forget incrementalism, they say. We want Medicare for all. Basically start from scratch with a whole new approach. Uh, what do you think? I think there should be Medicare for all who want it. I think there should be an opportunity for people like a public option to buy into Medicare if that makes the most sense. But for the millions of Americans who like their private health care coverage, they should be allowed to keep that. And, and I do think that this conversation around Medicare for all is really important. But the fact is, is that the cost of health care is what is really driving people nuts. It, when it costs 500 bucks in a copay to bring your kid to the emergency room, when your deductible is $5,000, you might as well not have insurance for a lot of people. Um, when prescription drug costs are putting um, important treatments beyond people's reach, that's where the rubber meets the road. So that's where I want to see us focus. And then absolutely, what, what we ought to keep working for is, uh, is an expanded Medicare program. But what they're really talking about is how do we expand or, or allow people to buy into a Medicaid-style program where their expenses can get covered. Uh, I